Hi, it's Gil. Welcome to Brooklyn Gardens. We're on the field today and um, a friend of mine that um, digs very large trees contacted me a while back and there's some trees on the property that are again quite large mature and he has the ability to dig them and we're gonna go through a few of them today I don't know if we'll get through all of them we might even make it a two-part or we'll see how that all goes but behind me is a noble fir and we're going to talk about that one first. It's called La Graciosa as a cultivar name. You can see that it uh, is a weeping habit. Uh, it is probably, uh, my guesstimate is about 30 years old. Uh, just a gorgeous tree and there's two of them here. And if you watch the videos and you live in our area and are interested in specimen trees, you can contact me and I'll, I'll get a hold of uh, my digger friend uh, and see if um, what, the, what the pricing would be. I'm just selling them at um, a, a cost that is fairly low, but then there's a lot of labor and transport that goes into these two. So, so let's get started on some other trees. It's a bit windy today. So we apologize for that. There might be some of that noise going on and hopefully the quality is, is good enough where you can understand me. So I'm standing next to a, uh, an Eastern white pine, Pinus strobus, and then it's pendulous or pendulous form. Uh, Dave Helms in our last video talked about this tree. It was the tree over 40 years ago that got him started in collecting conifers and grafting and all that. So. Here's a smaller version of it when they're grafted. Sometimes they'll stay a little bit low like this and sometimes they'll grow up, you know, to 10, 12, 15 feet, but they always weep over and create this nice, nice canopy. They have a soft needle or a five needle pine. Um, white pines get their um, name from that white coloration in a needle and it has a little bit of blue and blue green going on in it too. So this is a, a tree with a Again, probably at least 25 to 30 years old, and um, and we have a number of them on the property, but are, we're going to dig a couple of them. And again, it won't be me selling them. I'm selling them to another person, a third party, and but they'll be available for sale. I'm pretty sure. So, so behind me is a group of trees that's going to be dug, and um, I'm going to kind of move over to the first one. It's a black pine, Pinus nigra. Um, and it is just a slow growing one and again in that 30 year old range most of them i don't need to keep repeating that are going to be in that um, age range 25 to 30 years old been in the ground for that period of time so we've got a black pine here that's literally not even six feet tall that's that old and then we've got let's see another black pine a Pinus sylvestris, um, almost a miniature type one with a, a nice gray green color on it. Um, there's a number of cultivars like Little Ann and Jeremy and those, it's probably one of those, but um, it, um, I can't ID it right off the top. And another one, probably the same type, but it has a little more blue coloration to it. And then a few more black pines right behind me as well. And then we'll just kind of walk this way and over here, we've got a weeping Deodora cedar that was grafted up high, and then it comes down and cascades over that, over to the uh, to my left, and it's just uh, you know pretty old. You can see how how um, big the trunk is on this one here, so. Pretty nice tree. I think this is the only one we're going to get out of the ground now. We've got two more that are available um, down here, but um, that's not something we're going to dig at this time. Another interesting cedrus or true cedar, uh, Cedrus lebani, the one that comes from Lebanon and North Africa. The cultivar name is Blue Angel, and the um, arms or the branches come out like. Um, you know, like like an, like you see the angel wings, and uh, it's uh, another really old specimen. Got that great coloration. Uh, it is you know, at least 10 feet tall, 10 to 12 feet tall. Really nice specimen. The person that's going to be digging these, the digger, he has the ability to transport these and to install them as well. So if you are interested, just let me know, and I'll I'll get you in contact with them. 
So there's a pine right behind me. Uh, pretty sure it's Pinus sembra. It's one of the cultivars, and I don't have the name right in front of me, but it's uh, probably Chalet or Blue Mountain. I don't think it's Blue Mountain. I think it's Chalet. So these are just really nice five needle pines. And then just moving to the right a little bit, we've got, um, th these aren't going to be available, but I just want to show them. I have smaller versions of it. And the color is so outstanding. It's a con color for native to, you know, Northern California, Sierra Nevadas. And it um, closely related to the noble fir, but the powder blue color is just outstanding and it is just um, really an eye catcher. So we have some that are about six, seven years old and they're about uh, getting close to three feet tall, probably not quite that tall that are in our inventory. So it's uh, one that's just an outstanding tree in the, in the landscape. So I'm standing next to another tree, Pinus sylvestris, and the cultivar name is Rependens. It was grafted up, up high, it's mounted up somewhat, but the interesting thing about this tree, this one here is going to get dug. It's, it's a bit of a pokey tree, but it's really interesting because I'm going to move to my right a little bit, and we're going to look at the ground and see how when these branches come down and weep over, they um, just follow the ground like over here it just becomes a ground cover so I can go over and pick this this whole branch up maybe and it's not rooted I don't think but it's uh, but it's just laying on the ground and it's coming off the tree right to my left right here so um, pretty interesting and then it has a very large trunk in the center and I've cleaned some of it out on the back side and Max will get a shot of that as well so pretty interesting tree. Standing next to an excavator here digging trees is hard work and it's um, when we're you know trees we've looked at today are quite large and um, you know they carve a root ball out of um, under, around the tree and create a uh, create a root ball that they dig out and it's burlapped and um, we call it bald and burlapped and twine is used and sometimes they use a wire mesh to reinforce that root ball so it doesn't fall apart. So the excavator behind me will help to uh, you know carve out some of the soil to make it a little bit easier on the workers that are going to be doing all that work of securing the root ball and then getting it out of its hole and and then transport it and then eventually to a new home so um, anyway i just wanted to thank everybody for watching and we really appreciate it and uh, we'll get some more content of some of the, the i've got a new um, shipment of trees coming out of Oregon. It's not huge, but um, as soon as it gets here, hopefully we can do an unba unboxing, but um, it may not work out timing-wise as far as filming, but we'll, I'll show you what those are. I think you'll be interested in some one-year grass that I'm getting from my friend Jason up down at uh, Western Evergreen down in uh, in Oregon. So I wanted to give a shout out to um, one of my youngest grandchildren, Kai, down in Denver, Colorado. Kai watches the videos and um, his dad was telling me that uh, he went into his room here a while back and uh, he had some Legos set out and and um, he had built built something and asked him what it was and he said well that's a replica of Brooklyn Gardens so um, thanks Kai for watching and taking an interest and he'd rather do things like that than play video games so uh, good for you Kai and um, just a shout out to him and to all my grandkids and great grandkids so until next time see you later